Hey guys, and how's it going? We made 100,000 subscribers on the channel. And uh, I want to thank you guys uh, personally for all the uh, the feedback and camaraderie we get in this. And just, you guys are awesome, really. You know, I, I look at a bunch of other channels and the comments that are in them and, the, you know, the rudeness and everything that kind of goes on. And you guys are just so supportive. And, and I really, from the bottom of my heart, just want to thank you guys for all that you contribute back to me. And it makes it really nice for and enjoyable for me to do what I do on these channels and keep me doing what I'm doing. So uh, we'll start right there with that kind of thank you. And uh, again, I really appreciate everything that you guys uh, contribute back to me. Uh, so what are we gonna do for our 100,000 kind of uh, mile marker? And what I decided to do was give you a little bit of a story and I'll give you a, uh, a video, how's that? And so I'll start with the story, and the story is uh, about three months ago, I got contacted by a, uh, a very popular uh, TV show. I'm not going to get into names yet. I will in the future. But they wanted, they gave me the opportunity to go do my own thing, whatever I wanted to do, to make a half hour show. They were going to go air, uh, myself and a bunch of other YouTubers. And so I kind of took the ball with that, rolled with it, tried making some videos, the first one I did was the bus behind the garage. I tried pulling that out, the cold starting and dragging that out. The problem with it is tr when I make videos on this channel, I it's just organic. I'm just filming as I go along whatever problems or mistakes I make, I run into, I put it all in there. It could be a five minute video, it could be a 40 minute video. It, you know, I, I don't try to make a video to fit a timeline, never have. So now I'm trying to make a video to fit a timeline. And I find, I found that it just did not flow uh, very smoothly kind of going across. It just didn't, I don't know if it was a very good example of what I do on my channel. And I don't know if I, if I could even do that, you know, and, and try to do it for a TV show. So I tried on that one. And it was okay and I ended up bailing on it and that's why you guys saw that one and then I did another one which is the rat rod quad which is the video you're gonna go see uh, that's a video that's a machine that I built oh probably right in the very beginning of the channel one of my first uh, projects I was working on on this channel that got uh, put in the back burner put in the backyard and forgotten about had some issues wasn't running right and it just sat and sat and sat so that is the resurrection of that and that's what you're going to see that's roughly almost an hour long i tried to edit that down to 22 minutes and it felt kind of um robbed of its content so i submitted that they were okay with it i was kind of okay with it i think i could have done better but what happened was after that part of it was done. I got a contract sent to me and I read the contract. And the contract took away all my rights to pretty much me and my content and my likeness and um, any kind of like um, um, whatever t shirts, hats, you know, whatever they want to try to sell with my likeness on it, they can kind of go do. There was no money behind it neither. The, the amount that they paid me to go and do this, I'm not sure if I said this yet, was very low. And you're really not doing it for the money anyway, but it would have cost more for a lawyer to go look at the 14 page contract than it would to, uh, you know, the financial benefit of it. But the benefit would have been to me was, you know, you get exposure, it grows, it grows your channel and all. I just felt that I didn't like to lose that control of what I do, who I am. The fact that they could send me off to, um, you know, publicity stuff. You get paid $35 a day for doing it, even if it's overnight and all over where you had to go do. It was, again, there's no money in it. And uh, you're pretty much uh, at that point at their whim for whatever they want to do. If it takes off, you know, you got pretty much nothing for the next two years. And uh, if it was only that one episode, then, you know, maybe it cost them on their end to go through the trouble of... Uh, you know, putting you up onto it. Uh, so I kind of decided not to do it and that may have hurt me, it may not have, but again, I kind of like the control over what I do, who I, what I put out there. And uh, it does get sold to other people, the capacity of chopping it up and, and, you know, they can 
edit it down or sell it to other people. I just wasn't a big fan of that. There's more to go with that. I'm not going to get into the whole story, but I just want to give you a little bit of feedback of the, the background, uh, who, how, where, and when. And uh, you know, we'll see where it goes from the future. When they come out with the rest of their videos, I'll probably release my 22 minute uh, version of that. You can compare the before and afters with it. But uh, till then, I'm, just, I'm going to be a little bit vague on uh, that kind of, uh, you know, the backstory of the rest of that. So again, I want to thank all of you guys for, you know, taking the time to come out, enjoy the channel and uh, the, uh, the, the camaraderie we get with playing with this stuff. I'm glad that some people get something out of what I do is, you know, maybe a little mechanical education. I get some from feedback from you guys too. And, uh, you know, it's kind of nice that you kind of wonder what you're put on this planet for, what your purpose is as you go through life. And, you know, maybe I kind of stumbled across this and if people get something out of it when I'm long gone and, uh, you know, it, when I grew up, there was a lot of, um, you know, I looked up to a lot of the older gentlemen that had an education mechanical and I wanted to learn so much. And, uh, but it was hard because if you're in a small town, there's only a couple of people you can go reach out to and go do that. And they're like, you know, unless they took you under your wing, they're like, you know, get away kid, you're bothering me kind of thing. So I, maybe I open this up to other people to um, uh, get that education that I was looking for back then. Especially with like myself being dyslexic, I learn much more from seeing somebody do some something than it is, you know, reading a book and, and you know, getting an education through it that way. So maybe that, um, you know, transpires to, uh, Part of the liking of it too is that you can actually see what's going on i do my best to try to explain uh, as i'm going along what those uh those tips and tricks or uh, you know my thought processes my thought process is as i am trying to do something so with that uh just a little bit of backstory again i want to thank all you guys for uh, uh being part of what i do and turning this into i never even you know I never started out to go and even do this. This was not an intentional goal. It was just having fun showing our projects on a YouTube garage and it's turned in, turning into what it is now. So I'm gonna stop babbling and, and ranting I, again this one last time. Uh, thank you so much for everything. I hope you enjoy the next video that's gonna come out. I'll probably wait again 24 hours, a little bit of time for people to watch this one. And then from there, uh, I'll release the other one and you can see that one. With that, Later.